Thanks for joining me today for an overview of our library resources and our library website. So let's get started with our library space. When you walk into the library, the first desk on your right is the Access Services Desk, also known as the Loan and Reserve Desk. Here, you can check out all sorts of things, including books, media, reserves, computers, cameras, chargers, and much, much more. If you walk a little further, you will come across the Help Desk. Here, you can get basic help with research, help with poster printing, and help with general questions. Right behind the Help Desk is the Computer Diagnostic Center. Here, you can get basic help with your computer or mobile devices. For a simple fix, it is usually free, but for a more complicated repair, there is usually a cost, but it's typically cheaper than your local computer store. Another resource we offer is our study rooms. Our study rooms are great for studying in groups or for doing group projects. We also host the Writing Center here at the library, so if you ever need help with one of your writing assignments, you can always reach out to the Writing Center to make an appointment. Additionally, we have our Study Cube, which is a 24 hours a day, 7 days a week study space that is well lit, has vending machines and bathrooms. It's located across from the main doors of the library, and you can swipe in with your RAM card. Now that you've seen some of our great resources here at the library, I'm going to move on to our library website. You can visit our library website by going to the URL lib.colostate.edu. Here is the library homepage. There are a few things that I'd like to point out on this page. The first thing being the Ask button up in the top right hand corner. If you click on this button, it will take you to a page where you can ask for help. One way you can ask for help is using this chat box here or texting any questions to this phone number. The chat box and text function are staffed by somebody 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also ask for help via email, which is monitored Monday through Friday. When using the chat box, texting, or even emailing, it's usually best to ask brief questions or for factual information. But for more in-depth subject-related research questions, we recommend that you click our Contact a Librarian button. In doing so, this will take you to our staff directory of librarians. Here you can look for librarians by subject, by department, or by college. So if you're ever writing a paper on a specific subject like accounting in the future, you could contact that specific librarian, which in this case is Christine. Going back to the library homepage, now I'd like to direct your attention to our How to Print button. If you click on this button, it will take you to a page that gives you instructions on how to print here at the library. Please note that you do have to transfer money from your RAM Cash account into your library printing account. Also, a little bit of money does go a long way. Please note that you cannot transfer money from your library printing account back into your RAM Cash account. This page lists information about printing options as well as printing costs here at the library. Going back to the library homepage, I now want to direct your attention to the Study Room Reservations button. If you click on this button, it takes you to our Study Room Reservations page. From here, you can see what rooms are available and when. Additionally, if you click on a time that you'd like to reserve, you will be prompted to log in using your EID and password, and from here you can enter your information and reserve a room. You can reserve three hours a day up to one week in advance. Now I'm going to go back to the home page. At this point, I'd like to direct your attention to the off-campus access link under the Primo search box. If you click on the link, it will take you to another page that gives you instructions on how to access library resources from off-campus. Now I'm going to go back to the library homepage. From here, I'd like to direct your attention to our Primo search tool. Primo is our discovery tool. It searches a wide range of resources in our catalog, including books, media, articles, reference entries, and more. One thing to note is that you can only search for books in our catalog by using Primo. So let's do a sample search. 
If I were going to do a research paper on food insecurity, I might type the phrase food insecurity into the Primo search box to find resources related to this topic. Before I hit the magnifying glass icon to perform my search, I can also limit the types of results I get back. By default, Primo is set to search for almost everything, meaning all the resources in our catalog. But you can change this to be books and more, articles and more, or course reserves. For now, I'm going to leave it as almost everything. So now I'm going to hit the magnifying glass icon to perform my search. You should be redirected to another page with the search results. We can see that I've received about 180,000 results. If I wanted to, I could again filter my search results by resource by using the drop down menu at the top, which is essentially the same menu that we just reviewed. But if you apply a filter, you have to remember to hit the magnifying glass icon again to refine the search results. You can also use the filters on the left hand side to limit your search results more. So let's take a look at one of the search results. We can see that for this resource entry, it shows what type of resource it is, the title, who it's written by, and it will offer information about how you can access the resource. If you see a resource that you like, you can also click on it to get more information about it. So as we scroll down the page, you can see that Primo has retrieved a few different types of resources for my search, including different books and different articles. Primo is an additional tool to know about while you're doing your research, but there are other great databases you can use for your research, including Academic Search Premier. You can access these databases by clicking on the A to Z database list under the Almost Everything button on the home page. Here you can find relevant databases to your research. You can view them by subject or alphabetically. Now I'm going to go back to the library homepage. Now we're going to look at the research guides section. The research guides are useful resources for each discipline. You can access them by clicking on the research help link under the Primo search box on the library homepage. On this page, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that you can search for research guides by subject as well as by course. There's a lot of great information here that you might find very helpful while doing your research. This concludes the overview to the library resources and the library website. As a reminder, if you have any questions after this session, you can always click on our Ask button on our library homepage, or you can visit our Contact a Librarian page to get more help. Thanks for watching this video and good luck with your research.